Welcome back to the Online Metals Materials Talk Series. This video will discuss aluminum alloys 6262 and 7075. 6262 aluminum was designed for operations where significant machining is required. The most significant distinction of this alloy is that it contains lead and bismuth. These elements help with chip creation and breakage, as well as to partially lubricate the cutting tool. 6262 is generally regarded as having good strength and corrosion resistance. Finished parts can also be produced with a high level of polish. The alloy is typically formed by extrusion, forging, or rolling, but not by casting. Additionally, it cannot be work hardened, but can be heat treated to tempers that offer higher strength but lower ductility. 7075 aluminum is more commonly associated with the aerospace industry. Its principal alloying elements are zinc and copper, making it one of the highest strength aluminum alloys available. In fact, its typical strength in the T6 temper is higher than most mild steels, while offering a much lighter weight material. 7075 also has average to good ratings for machinability, corrosion resistance, and anodizing response. In addition to aerospace applications, this material is commonly found in gears, chassis plates, precision rifles, and rock climbing equipment. Like 2024, it is not considered to be weldable, though it can be joined by a resistance weld. Thank you for watching another Online Metals video. Please subscribe to our channel or leave a comment below with questions or future video requests.